r.files, a concept so familiar to any advanced Linux user. You install a program, create a config file somewhere in your home or .config directory, and see the program start acting your way. But what if I told you that there is a growing trend, at least in our community circle, that simply eliminates the need for .files, instead allowing you to bundle your configurations with programs directly, making them portable as one single package? Sounds too good to be true? Then let me introduce you to the art of wrapping software with Nix. The concept itself is actually not new or special, because in essence, all I mean by wrapping is creating a shell script, setting some environment variables inside, and executing the program you want to wrap with extra arguments. Nothing unusual, and a ton of packages in Nix packages already do that by default just to be compatible with Nix. Just take a look at your NeoVim or Firefox files installed with Nix, and instead of binaries, you will find shell scripts that wrap them. But how is this related to dot .files? You see, most of the programs you use on a daily basis allow you to specify the location of the configuration file you want to use. Be it using a dash dash config flag, dash c, or an environment variable, doesn't matter, because to us, this means we can just write a config file and make a package bundling it together with the program, resulting in a pre-configured program that does not depend on home manager, or even a home directory for that matter, is self-contained, and can even be exposed in a flake so you can run it anywhere with one command. And if this sounds familiar, it's because that's how projects like NixVim and NVF work under the hood. And the best part, creating your very first wrapped program is very simple. Take a package you want to wrap, put it inside symlink join function, it will copy the directory structure of our package, and add the make wrapper tool to build inputs. Now in the post build step, we can run the wrap program command, passing it our binary, and giving it extra flags or environment variables. Even at this point, you could already provide flags to simple CLI programs like bat to configure its theme, or something like an H, specifying the flake path you want to use by default with an environment variable. But most programs come with a whole configuration file, so we will usually also want to create one. So to configure kitty for example, you could pass it a dash dash config flag pointing to a real config file you want to bundle with it, or if you want to take full advantage of Nix, we could create this file programmatically right here. Now this package can be put inside environment.system packages to make it a part of your Nix's configuration, or exposed in a flake to be run with one command. It's just another normal package, you can do anything with it. But there are of course several disadvantages to this method. Most notably, since we are doing it the bare bones way, the chunk of code we wrote looks to say the least unappealing for something as simple as a personal configuration. And moreover, since we are creating a new package here, the final result cannot be overridden like the original package, limiting the use cases a bit. There are several solutions that address these issues online, but the one I like the most is the recently created wrappers repo by Lasselus, which utilizes our favorite module system for wrapping packages. To use it, add it to the flake inputs, pass it to the outputs, and now we have access to several new functions, like the very basic wrap package function, which simply wraps your packages in a clean and declarative way. You can use this one if you need to wrap something quickly, the parameters are all self-explanatory, and you can find some extra examples on the GitHub page, but what's even cooler are the provided wrapper modules that truly bring that premium Nix configuration experience to wrapping. Just look at me configuring Fuzzle with human readable and type safe options. The syntax is basically no different from something you get with Home Manager, but the result is a self-contained, pre-configured, portable package. The only issue, being only several weeks old, the wrapper's repo provides only a few modules at the time of this video's release, so what I suggest we do is fix that together by contributing some modules. Fortunately, creating them is also just as simple as it is for NixOS or Home Manager, so all we need to do is to use the wrap module function, which takes a module with a familiar syntax as the only parameter, and results in a wrapper that we will later use to create personal configurations. Like in this example, where we are creating a function to configure the bad program, declaring a theme option, just like we would do in a NixOS module, and then using it to set its dash dash theme flag, resulting in a wrap bat wrapper that we can later apply to configure bat with human readable and type safe options. Basically bringing the NixOS module system experience to wrapping software. Expose both of these in your flake, and you got yourself a reusable module, which you could contribute to the project or share with a friend, and your very own pre-configured program. 
and returning to configuration files, aside from general module system types like boolean, integer or package, wrappers also comes with a special file type, accessible from the wlib in the parameter, which as the name suggests, simply helps us create config files. To use it, reference your options path attribute in the required flag, and during configuration you can define its content with a regular string. Combine all the previously mentioned techniques together, and you'll easily be able to configure most of the software you need, making your dot .files infinitely more mind-blowing. Just imagine how cool it is to use some random machine with Nix and simply be able to run any of your fully configured programs with one command without leaving any mess behind or replacing any present dot .files. I personally absolutely love this approach, and I am already using it for most of my configs, but let me know what you think of it down in the comment section. And now, I'd like to thank all the amazing people that support the channel and keep it going, and especially all the great monthly supporters, your support is invaluable. Extra thanks to Lasselus for a huge donation, I love how this video looks like a paid advertisement now but I swear it is not, and as always, don't forget to check out our discord server, leave a like, re comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.